So in this video, we're going to look at a special technique we can use for factorizing expressions, which we call the difference of two squares, or dots technique. The first thing to say about it, though, is that it only works for a very particular type of expression, which can sometimes be hard to notice. And it's where you have one thing that's being squared, take away another thing squared, which we can represent as a squared minus b squared. Although in exams, they could take the form of any numbers or letters. So the expressions could look very different, like x squared minus 25 or 49 minus p squared. To factorize these expressions, all you need to do is figure out the two things that are being squared. So in our a squared minus b squared example, that would be a and b. And then we stick these into two sets of brackets. One where we add them together, so a plus b, and the other where we subtract them, so a minus b. And it's always the second thing that you subtract from the first. Now, this all by itself might not make much sense. So let's have a go at these two questions now and see how it actually works. In this first one, we're trying to factorize x squared minus 25. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what it is that's being squared to get each of these two terms. For x squared, it's easy to spot that it's an x being squared. So we can write that below. Although another way to think about it is that we're just finding the square root of x squared, which is x. Then if we do the same for 25, the square root of that is 5. So we write that below as well. Then all we have to do is put these numbers into two sets of brackets. One where we add them together, so x plus 5, and one where we subtract them, so x minus 5. Next up, we have 49 minus p squared. So in this case, we need to notice that 49 is just 7 being squared, and that p squared is just a p being squared. So we put the 7 and the p into our brackets as 7 plus p and 7 minus p. Let's have a go at these two slightly harder ones now. This first one, 16x squared minus 9y squared, is a little bit different to the ones we've seen so far, because the two terms contain numbers and letters this time. The way we work it out, though, is exactly the same. So the first step is to find the square root of each term. The square root of 16x squared is just 4x, because the square root of 16 is 4, and the square root of x squared is x. The same thing works for 9y squared. Its square root is 3y, because the root of 9 is 3, and the root of y squared is y. So all that's left is to put 4x and 3y into the two sets of brackets. So 4x plus 3y in the first, and 4x minus 3y in the second. In this next one, we need to factorize 36 minus 4x squared. So because the square root of 36 is 6, and the square root of 4x squared is 2x, our brackets will be 6 plus 2x and 6 minus 2x. Let's try two more to finish. In this first one, we're trying to do 9x squared minus 64. So we can square root the 9x squared to get 3x, and square root the 64 to get 8. Meaning we get the brackets 3x plus 8, and 3x minus 8. For this last one, p squared minus 25q squared, the square root of p squared is p, and the square root of 25q squared is 5q. So we get p plus 5q and p minus 5q. Before we finish, I just want to show you that this technique of factorizing really does work, which we can do by expanding the brackets back out and double checking that they're equal to p squared minus 25q squared. So to expand these brackets, 
we'd do p times p, which is p squared, p times minus 5q, which is minus 5pq, 5q times p, which is 5pq, and 5q times negative 5q, which is minus 25q squared. And the important thing to notice here is that these two pq terms in the middle will cancel each other out because minus 5pq plus 5pq equals 0. So what we're left with is just p squared minus 25q squared, which is exactly the same thing as we were given in the question. And this should always happen with this technique. If you expand your brackets back out, two of the terms should cancel out. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do tell your friends and teachers about us. And cheers for watching.